Day two of the Green Total Classic, powered by SFMSports.net. Glenn Clark now joined by your coach, Brandon Childs, after they fell 9-7 here today to Lynchburg on day two. Coach, let me start by asking you this. Uh, from up top, it sensed like when the snow really started coming down, it had an impact on the game. How much did you sense that at field level? Um, well, the first thing I tell you is that I'm a Lynchburg alum, and when I played for Coach Kadaka, we used to kid that he could control the weather. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 15 years later, he can still control the weather. Um, I think things like this impact both teams. Yeah. Um, you, you know, he's crazy. I'm crazy. We practice in the snow all the time. Neither team was wearing sweats or, or jackets. Right. And so both teams used to it, um, and both teams had to play under those conditions. So um, there's no no doubt that those big flakes and the ball and whatnot, but both teams have to play under it. Yep. Um, and we were sloppy today, but I don't think we were sloppy because of the snow. I think we were sloppy because of Lynchburg's athleticism. You fought to get back in it, tie it up in the second half, and it seemed like at that point all the momentum was on your side. Why were you not able to sustain that in the final minutes? Yeah, I mean, the big difference was when the, we back-to-back man-down penalties, yeah. um, and they scored on both of them. And uh, yesterday we went man-down one time against Nazareth. And uh, the whole weekend we knew we couldn't go man down against either team. They're too good on offense to go man down. They scored on both of those. Um, and uh, and that got them some momentum. So I caught a timeout there and just told my guys, you know, they scored two goals when we're down a guy. They should, you know. And then from them it was pretty even or we, we, we kind of jumped ahead there actually. Yeah. Um, so – um, that was the kind of the game changer, those back-to-back -back penalties and, and scoring on both of them on their behalf. Um, and, and, you know, if you take those two goals away, you know, maybe we get this one. Well, then it seemed like that, like, four-minute possession there in the fourth quarter where you just weren't able to come up with a goal, that that really was kind of the one that seemed to suck the life out of it at that point. You can't have that long of a possession and not come away with a goal. Yeah, absolutely. I thought we did a good job being patient. Early on in the game, I, mean, I think we had 11 turnovers at halftime. Yeah. We ended up with 17. We had six total yesterday. Um, so <laughs> to, to end up with um, you know only turning over six times in the second half, that those kinds of poised possessions in the second half um, was what we wanted to do. So, um, yeah, it would have been nice to get one there. But, you know, with such a young team, I'm just happy that we we were disciplined and got the good looks that we did. We just didn't cash in on them. All right, give us an update on Caleb. It, uh, it looked like a groin injury from where we were yeah I think it's a hamstring actually okay. um, I have no idea how bad it's going to be um, you know fortunately we've been doing this man down goalie thing for three years now so so the guy that comes in there for us um, who's a senior um, and uh, you, you actually saw he generated yep. that one goal for us in transition so uh, we'll be just fine um, obviously I love Caleb to death and he's a senior and I want him to be fine um, but if not it'll be the next man up and we got another senior ready to go all right and you finish the weekend one and one and obviously it's your first loss of the season, but I, I imagine you still like where your team is headed coming out of this trip to Owings Mills. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the last thing I just said to my assistant before I walked up here is we got a lot better today. I thought as the game went on, offensively, we played a lot better, and I think some of our youth that were playing on offense really learned a lot this weekend. Um, and then I think, you know, <laughs> try to practice some humility here, but I think defensively we're really good. Yeah. And um, to hold a Lynchburg team that's been scoring a lot of goals on a lot of people um, down, and I, and I looked at stats close enough to see what Stewart and Murphy did today. Um, but to do what we did to Wooters and Heffel yesterday and sure. then Murphy and Stewart today, um, I really like our team defensively. And uh, so I think there's a lot of confidence to, to take from this weekend, um, but a lot of things to learn from as well. Coach, appreciate you coming up here and spending some time with us. Best of luck moving forward. Absolutely. Thanks. Coach Thank Brandon Chow, from York College. I'm Glenn Clark at the Green Turtle Classic, powered by SFMSports.net.